All right. Hello, everybody. Um, so I am going to. So this is technically my second video, um, but it's ended, gonna end up being the first one I film because I did film a surprise haul last night at like eight o'clock, and I didn't have any natural light, and I don't have any like ring lights or studio lights or anything that I can use at night. And I am using my phone right now, so this is kind of like going to be my introduction and probably my very first video too since I'm filming it first. Um, so yeah, hi, my name is Rachel. Um, welcome to my channel. This is going to be the very first video on my channel. Um, I decided to do this starting back to school season because I wanted to do this throughout high school and um, maybe into college. Uh, probably more in college than in high school. So. Um, hello, my name is Rachel. Um, currently I'm using my phone for this and it's not a very nice phone, so it's not very good video quality and I'm really sorry about the editing. Um, I know for a fact it's gonna end up being terrible, so sorry about that. Um, we're just, but okay. So basically the point of this video is, um, if you've already read the title, um, a back to school emergency kit. Now I did this last year for myself and I used it quite a bit actually so last year i found this bag at the dollar store it was a dollar um not very pretty uh but it semi matches my backpack which is right there so yeah um so i got this bag and then i filled it with emergency supplies so i googled this i looked at pinterest pictures and all this stuff so i could make sure that i had everything i could possibly need for an emergency kit for back to school and this just fits in the big pouch in my backpack or even in like the middle pouch um it's just easy simple um and really helpful so the first thing um i would put in is band-aids now if you don't think you're gonna need band-aids or if you know for a fact that some of your teachers have band-aids um and you don't think you're gonna need them then don't pack them but i did and trust me guys i actually needed them and i forgot them last year i think because i don't think i packed them last year and i ended up like having a situation where like i was reaching in my backpack and for one class and so we had composition notebooks for this one class and they made us like staple this thing to it and the staple was like poking out because it like didn't go all the way through or like I don't know it got rubbed somehow and like the staples were sticking out like that out of the cardboard and I would like went to pull out another thing and I don't remember what finger it was or what but it like cut me like the staple like scraped a really deep cut I was like bleeding so I was like putting my hand sanitizer on it and stuff so this year I'm packing band-aids um, next thing, if you're a girl, you're probably already going to have some this stashed away somewhere. I keep two. So I have a place where I keep my, um, normal stuff, my pads and tampons, normal place for them. But I also put them in my emergency kit because if you're like me, sometimes, you know, you forget, like you use it all one month and then you forget the next month to restock. So if you always have a backup, you're good. <laughs> um, so next thing I'm going to say, we're going to go with this, is this. Now, I sometimes break my nails in school. And I don't know about you, but it's like that, like where part of your nail breaks off and it's kind of just like hanging and the rest of your nail is still there, but it's like really annoying. So I try to clip my nails so that doesn't happen. But if that does happen because I get lazy <laughs> for some reason and don't clip my nails, I always make sure I have nail clippers because, and you know, you can run them to other people who have the same problem, you know, just be like that cool friend who always has extra pads and tampons and nail clippers and you're going to be, you're going to be the awesome person in school that everyone's going to want to be friends with. <laughs> Next is, <clears throat> excuse me, a lint roller. Now this is the mini version. I got a two pack um, with the mini version and a larger version. So I have the larger version for home and the mini pack for school. Um, I wear black leggings um, all the time in the winter with um, like sweatshirts. 
and so I really, really need lip rollers like all the time and I never have them. So this is also being added to my emergency kit for this year and I'm really super excited about that. Next thing, I freaking love these, okay? These are the oil like absorbing, oil blotting, whatever sheets. This is the Equate Beauty brand. Um, I got these last year and I didn't use them all because I didn't get as sweaty or my skin doesn't get as oily during the year. But during PE it really did and so I use these a ton during PE. The good thing about these is that um, when you like spend time on your beautiful makeup in the morning um, and you have sweat all over you, you can use these and it doesn't smear or like wipe off your makeup at all which is Yes! I love it. Sorry, that was really weird. <laughs> Okay, next, so if you're another person like me and you have glasses, uh, these could, oh sorry, this is like bent, so I'm like I'm bending it. These could like potentially be a lifesaver for you because you want to be able to see the board and all of that and see walking in front of you, obviously. And when you get smudges, you don't really want to use your shirt as much. I mean, you can if you absolutely have to, but it's really good to have these just in case it's something that like your shirt is smearing or whatever or if you're one of those people that doesn't like using their shirt because they're afraid that it will scratch your lenses so I always pack these with me I just have like a few and I just make sure to keep them in there I usually um like clean them every morning and I never have a problem but just in case I do I always pack those next is well now I don't know about you guys but during the winter months I always get a cold like without <laughs> okay <laughs> without veil I always 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 get a cold it sucks i hate it it's terrible it's where like your nose is runny or it's really stepped up and one of those two situations or you cough a lot guys i never have kleenexes with me ever so i'm making sure to pack these i usually like when i have a cold in the winter months i grab a ziploc bag i get to our kleenex like our kleenex or tissue box or whatever you call it your house at my house because we always have one in the kitchen and i just like get 20 Kleenexes, stuff them in the bag, and then put them in my backpack. But I kid you not, I go through those so fast. And then, like, I'm always, like, stocking up every class I get to. I'm just, like, pulling five out at a time. It's, it gets to the point where it's so ridiculous. And then when you're to that point where, like, your class doesn't have a tissue box, and you're like, low-key, do I use my shirt? Yes save yourself if that never happens to you really sorry i've never had to use my shirt i've always just used like kleenexes that i kind of like, like wiped a little bit and like so it's kind of used but like not really so i can kind of use it again to cover up the problem or like you're in a test and you can't you're, like you literally can't move anyways so next is this, this I love for PE as well, because I don't know about you guys, but I really like my hair being cute, especially because I have PE first trimester, which if you don't have trimesters, basically we just have three months. We we split it off into like three sections. We don't have semesters, we have trimesters. Don't ask me why. <laughs> the school I go to is really weird, guys. Anyways, oh, there's hair in this. I... <laughs> dropping things today anyways okay so it's like i love these things uh because it's like the mirror so if you need a mirror to check your little makeup after uh pe and then this for your hair because it gets really messy guys it's always the saddest thing when it gets messy so it's a brush mirror like thing i don't know what it's called <laughs> but it's amazing love these especially if you don't want to carry a big hunk and brush around with you everywhere you have this little lifesaver um and like they really do work and they really do help so yeah next this is like a weird chapstick i would never usually put this in but i got it for free somewhere so putting this in <laughs> i keep dropping it <laughs> anyway so there's this little lip just oh my gosh chapstick lip not lipstick chapstick lip balm whatever you call it uh whenever your lips get chappy guys you're gonna need this i usually always carry this around in like the front pocket of my backpack but we're gonna put the gross kind in here in case i lose the good kind that i always have close to me i feel like that happens a lot okay next and again if you're a girl if you have like a ponytail in 
for something again pe sucks guys it just it makes your hair go everywhere um so this is just the travel size um hairspray i got it like during like i get always go at the end of july kind of for this stuff because this stuff is usually on sale for like the summer traveling stuff or whatever so this guys can be a lifesaver as well and last but not least there's this little lip gloss that i found i think it's really cute i think i got it for christmas or something one year and i never really use it so you know if you i don't know have a crush in the class or something you would see him just like pull out your emergency kit just like yeah put a little gloss on there I don't know really what you would use that for. To look pretty, guys. After PE, you might as well, right? So a bunch of other people put, like, makeup and stuff in their emergency kit. I don't usually. I sometimes, like, because my mascara, as you can see, maybe not, usually stays. I don't really think I ever put makeup in. Because of the oil blotting sheets, I never really need to fix makeup. So, yeah. This is my emergency kit, guys. Sorry, I'm really rude, I know, but this is my first video ever, and I'm really super excited. By the way, if my next video is filmed in the same clothes, with the same makeup, with the same spot, that's because that's the video I'm filming next. <laughs> I have no shame. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Um, let me know if you have any, like, if you have any video ideas for me, definitely want to do a few. Like, maybe a back-to-school makeup look. Um, I'm not really good at makeup. I don't pride myself in doing makeup um it's one of those things that i just think is like fun to do um i also think it like makes me look pretty so i like doing it um so yeah um the basic point of this is if you want to see the makeup look it's going to be a super simple makeup look probably just like foundation mascara just a little bit of eyeshadow and maybe chapstick over like lipstick because who wears lipstick to school well maybe if it was like a neutral or color like this i might i don't know it depends anyways um so if you want to see that uh make sure that you comment that down below um i'm really excited for this channel guys if you have any ideas on how to like i don't know intro or outro my videos um i also would love that so make sure you comment that down below really sorry i keep looking at myself um i'm trying to look into like the camera but i just love looking at myself <laughs> just kidding <laughs> anyways guys um i'll see you guys later and okay yeah right what everyone says like and subscribe i guess bye